Hey guys, Ron here. It's uh, Monday, the day after Father's Day. I just got something in the mail. I want to show you a couple of things and uh, have a discussion about video quality. How everybody compares video by looking at the picture. We'll get into that technical stuff, but uh, here we are. This is a bulk charger made by a company I think is the OEM. Like Mercedes has glass that says Mercedes on it. They don't make it. They go to a manufacturer who makes it for them and they put their name on it. That's OEM, Original Equipment Man Original Equipment Manufacturer. So this thing is exactly the same as the $85 uh, Inspire charger, bulk charger from DJI. It's, it's, it charges sequentially, but it's a smart charger. And sequentially is better because this way the batteries will charge correctly and the, uh, the memories won't be uh, affected or undercharged or overcharged. Um, basically uses the original uh, Inspire power supply, plugs into this bulk charger, which then charges these up to four batteries sequentially. So when each one is charged properly, it'll go to the next one and it can't overcharge them. You can leave them on if you forget about it, no big deal. And you can either plug it in with the large connector or the uh, this connector for the remote. Anyway, I just thought that'd be an interesting thing. The other thing I wanted to mention was uh, my eight dollar find at the dollar store um, I was gonna buy a, ch a cooling tray for this laptop because when I do my edits it runs a little hot that's a USB fan as soon as you power this thing on it just power it just I got to point it at the cooling vents it's a great way to cool a computer especially a laptop all right the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, like I said everybody looks at videos and says uh, oh you know we'll do a comparison visually the right way to do it is to uh, is to uh, do it technically. Here we have a uh, in the old days you had a vector scope, which is a 19-inch rack mount piece of equipment. The upper left is a vector scope. What a vector scope does is tells you shows you the color burst and where the color is in relation to the signals within the sync pulses and the broadcast bandwidth. Next you have image. Next you have waveform monitor. Waveform shows sync signals and pulses. Down below you got chromicity on two of these and histogram. So the waveform monitor, one of these kind of programs, the original, the original ones were rack mount made by best work by Tektronix. But at least one of these guys, when you compare videos, it'd be nice to look at the signal and actually see how clean the signal actually is, how clean the color is, where the color burst is on the vectors. Because that's very important to broadcast. So uh, next time I do a, a video with the, let's say the Inspire and then uh, something else, we'll put up the two videos, we'll look at them visually, and then we'll compare them technically using the vector scope, waveform monitor, and color analysis. All right, guys, just a little short something today because it's a hot day and boring, and I figured you might as well get something up there. Anyway, I appreciate it. If you guys like this weird stuff that I've been doing, please subscribe. Still got a lot of giveaways going. We got a second uh, 3DR solo to give away. We got this uh, original GoPro, uh, not that one. <laughs> this uh, original GoPro, old GoPro Hero uses a full size SD card, but it's good, good picture, good quality. And uh, all that other stuff I showed in the other videos, which you might have to go look at. All right, guys, uh, rainy, nasty, and hot today, no flying, but uh, we'll get some flying going. I'm having more and more fun with this Mavic. It's just unbelievable. I got another Inspire coming back from DJI. It's probably Wednesday or Thursday. So we'll see what they did and how they upgraded it and what's going on. Alright guys, out for now. Thank you. Happy flying.